cheating in an exam is an academic crime. You should not have done this, Nolan and Hakim. Look at these essays. They are identical. How am I supposed to mark your essays? I'm sorry, sir. Please give us another chance. I'm sorry too, sir. Please let us redo this paper. Boys, taking someone else's work without the writer's permission is a plagiarism and this is wrong. I cannot accept this work. But since this is the first time you are caught, I'm going to give you another chance. You have no choice but to redo this essay. Okay, okay sir. sir. Thank, Thank you, you sir. sir. Okay, boys. I hope you have learned your lesson today. Cheating it simply means you are not being honest. Sometimes, out of desperation, people steal other people's hard work and claim the work to be theirs. By doing this, they are not being fair to the owner. In today's lesson, it is related to this immoral behavior. We are going to read a story about this. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to understand the plot and short story Cheat by Alan Bailey, learn the elements of a short story, answer some questions based on the short story. Hello everyone. Before we read the story, let's get to know the author of the story, Alan Bailey. Alan Bailey is an infamous Australian writer. He was born on 29th January 1943 and he is 77 years old this year. He is very famous for writing children's collection and one of his stories is Cheat. So let's find out more about this story. I have a synopsis of the story. Let's read it together. While reading, I want you to take note of the names of the characters, setting, and plot. This story is about Lean Webbings and Joss Boulder, who take part in the short story writing competition for the Holmes Watkins Medal. Lynn, at that time, writes a sad and really moving story about a sheepdog in flood and jaws. Writes a funny story about an elephant that has escaped from a park. While Lynn hopes that it will be a tie between them, Mr. Velos, the headmaster, announces that Jaws wins the medal. Frustrated, Lynn decides to let it go until one day she reads a book of short stories about an elephant written by William Bradbury and it is similar to the winning story written by Joff. Lynn immediately assumes that Joff cheats his way to win the competition but decides to let it go since she thinks that there is nothing she can do to change the result of the competition. She hints to Joff about the discovery but he doesn't seem to be aware of it. After that, Lynn notices that all the books written by the author has been removed from the library. The school headmaster calls Lynn to the office and she sees Joff with the Walkins medal. Mr. Velos explained that Joff does not realize that he has taken the story from Bradbury's collections. Mr. Velos declares Lynn as the winner, but Lynn is not happy with the situation, although Joff apologizes to her. She begins to have doubts about the originality of her own story. Can you recall the names of the characters? Can you say their names out loud? What are their names? You're absolutely right. There are Lynn Webbings and Joff Boulder. In order to find out more about the story, let's look at the plot of the story. 
the plot of a story is the development of the story. You will get to know how the story starts and how it progresses and ends. When we study about story, your teacher will tell you the stages in a plot. Let's learn more about them. Look at the screen. 1. Exposition 2. Rising Action 3. Climax 4. Falling Action and 5. Resolution Exposition introduces the characters, their background and the setting. The exposition is when Lin, Job and other friends wait for the result of the competition. Lin is nervous and wants to get over with the result and she does not care who wins the competition anymore. She hopes that it will at least be a tie when Mr. Velos announces her name and job. The headmaster, Mr. Velos, announces job as the winner since he writes a funny story. Lin is disappointed, but she hides her feelings and congratulates Job. Lin meets Job and she even jokes with him about how Mr. Velos drops the story from his mahogany table to select the winner. The next stage is the rising action. When the conflict starts and the events reach the climax or the turning point, in this story, the rising action is when Lin focuses on her basketball team and even jokes with Jobs about the way the headmaster selects the winner of the competition. Lin reads a book about an elephant which escapes the park by William Bradbury and assumes that Jobs cheats in the competition. At this point, Lin begins to think that Joff cheats and she considers telling everyone about it. She considers asking a friend, Marge, to expose Joff. But she is afraid that Marge will hate her after that. In class, when Joff debates about his career path, Lin approaches Joff and Marge and this is where the climax begins. The climax is the turning point of the event where the conflict takes place. What is the conflict in the story? Lin decides to drop hints at Joff in the class, but Joff is unaware of it. You can refer to page 105 of the textbooks where Lin says Bradbury in an angry voice. But he begins to think about it only after Lin mentioned Bradbury. Lin discovers that all the Bradbury books are gone from the library and she thinks that Joff takes them out to cover his tracks. At this point, Lin really thinks that Joff is guilty and tries to cover his crime. The following stage is called the falling action of the story where it still follows the climax but at this point, the story slows down towards the resolution stage. The falling action in this story is when Lin is called to Mr. Velas' office and she thinks the situation will worsen. Joff is in the room with the medal and Bradbury's book. Mr. Velos seems embarrassed and apologizes to Lin. He explains that Joff may have taken the idea without him realizing it. Thus, Joff wishes to be disqualified. At this point, Lin thinks that Joff has Mr. Velos on his side and will get Lin into trouble. The twist in the story happens here as Job apologizes to Lin since he accidentally takes some ideas from Bradbury's book that he read three years ago. Mr. Velos agrees that Job is not a cheater since the story is not similar. 
However, since it is not an original idea, Mr. Velos gives the medal to Lin. The following action now leads to the resolution of the story. The resolution is the stage where the conflict is discussed again, but it leads to the ending of the story. Hence, the conflict for the story subsides when Lin feels unhappy with the victory. Zhov apologizes to Lin outside the office and Lin begins to wonder the originality of her own story. The ending tells us that Lin gets what she wants, yet she does not feel good about it. In fact, she starts to doubt her own story. Now that you know the stages in the plot of the story, let's learn about the elements of our short story today. The first element is the settings. We know that settings refer to locations and places where the events take place. In this story, the first location is the school hall. The competition takes place at the school hall. The second location is the school library. Now, let's take a moment to recall what event happens here. Lin goes to the library to check on the Bradbury's book, but she is unable to find the book. The book is missing. The next location is the classroom. This is the place where their teacher asks Joff about his ambition, and Joff reveals that he wants to be a lawyer. Marge also questions Joff about his ambition here. At Mr. Velas's office, Mr. Velas explains to Lin about his mistakes and announces Lin as the winner for the Holmes Watkins medal. Joff apologizes to Lin at the school hallway after their meeting with the headmaster. The school hallway is also a setting in the story. The setting of a story answers the question, where? The answer to the question will give you specific locations and names of places or towns. The next literary element from the short story is characters. Let's find out more about the main characters. First, we have Lid Webbings. She loves to read. She reads Bradbury books and writes good essays. Lynn is also hardworking. She recalls how she works hard for the competition and spends weeks for her story. Another characteristic about this character is competitive. Lynn hopes to win the medal instead of Joe. She even hopes that it could at least be a tie between them. We also know that Lin is a good friend. She debates whether she should report Joff since she is afraid that her action may affect Joff. The next character is Joff Folder. Joff loves to read and he reads the book from Bradbury and writes good essays too. This character is also humble since he does not brag about his winning to Lin and even makes jokes with her by saying that the headmaster, Mr. Bellows, may just drop their stories from the table to decide on the winner. Jov is also a respectful boy. Jov goes to see Mr. Bellows and even apologizes to Lin. He explains that he wants to win in an honest way and he doesn't deserve to win. Besides that, Joff is humorous. He jokes with Lin on how Headmaster Velos chooses the winner. Another characteristic about Joff is ambitious. He mentions that he wants to become a lawyer and is determined about it. Although other friends and the teacher, Mr. Matheson, thinks he will make a good scriptwriter. So, we have covered two main characters now. Do you notice that after each characteristic of a character, 
I will mention an event. This is important as we must cite the event from the story to justify the reason for the characteristic of the character. Let's move on to the next character, Mr. Velas. Can you remember who he is? Yes, he is the headmaster of the school and the character who announces Geoff as the winner of the competition. We know that Mr. Velos is fair. Although Geoff cheats in the competition, he thinks that Lin deserves to win due to the originality of the story. He even changes the result and gives the medal to Lin. Mr. Velos is also apologetic. He is embarrassed with the situation when Lin enters the room since he feels guilty over what has taken place. He apologizes to Lin after that. The next character is Marge, who is the student's classmate and friend. Marge is ambitious and wants to become a Grand Prix driver. Marge is also a brave girl. She confronts Job and speaks her mind about money. She thinks that being happy is more important than having a lot of money. Okay, that's all about the characters. Let's talk about the theme of the story. What do we know about themes? When a particular idea runs from the beginning of the story till the end, that becomes like a message that the writer wishes to tell us in a story. That is a theme. A story can have more than one theme. Here are the themes in this story. The first theme is think before you act. In this story, Lin really thinks thoroughly about exposing Joff since she is afraid that Joff might get into trouble. The second theme is friendship. The writer wants to highlight the friendship between Lin and Joff. After Mr. Velos announces the winner at the school hall, Lin goes to Job to congratulate Job for winning, although she is disappointed. They even joke about it. It shows that they have become good friends. The third theme is admitting your own mistake. Job is brave enough to see Mr. Velos and explains that he may have accidentally taken some ideas from Bradbury's book. He even returns the medal since he thinks that he doesn't deserve it. Mr. Velos also apologizes to Lin for his mistakes and wants to give the medal to Lin. He is embarrassed when he explains the situation to Lin. There are few moral values that we can learn from this story. This story teaches us to be honest. Although Joff feels embarrassed and sad about admitting his mistakes, he turns himself in and meets Mr. Velos to return the medal. The next moral value is we must not be quick to judge. In this story, Lin is quick to judge Job of cheating when she reads the Bradbury's book. She is also quick to judge Job of hiding all Bradbury's book in order to cover his track. Her speculations are not true at all since Job himself goes to meet Mr. Velos. She even accuses Job of influencing Mr. Velos to take his side. In the end, her speculations prove to be wrong. Thirdly, we must not be afraid to have a healthy competition. In this story, Lin is a bit insecure about herself when she thinks that the result will be a tie. She just wants to get away with it when Mr. Velos announces the winner. Nevertheless, we can give credit to Lin when she congratulates Joff. Finally, a leader should be fair to everyone. In this story, Mr. Velos is very fair after knowing that Joff may have taken idea from a book. 
He also makes a fair judgement and declares that Job has not cheated and he has only taken some ideas from the story. However, Mr. Vela still thinks that Lin should win since she comes up with her original idea for her story. Okay everyone, let's look at the point of view of the short story. This short story is written based on the third person point of view since it uses pronouns like he, she and they. The next element that we are going to talk about is the language and style. The language used in this short story is very simple and straightforward. Thus, reader finds it very easy to follow the plot. I hope you find it easy too, boys and girls. There are also dialogues and monologues in the short story. These conversations help us to get inside the heads of the characters, hence enabling us to understand the characters better. We have one more element to learn today. What is the tone used on this story? While reading the story, you will experience moments that tell you there are seriousness and suspense in the story. The whole mood for the short story is serious since Lin deals with a conflict with herself as well, whether to expose Job for cheating or not. And also, when Mr. Velos meets Lin in his room to explain of the situation. We are able to feel the suspense in the story, especially when Lin awaits for the announcement of the winner for the Holmes Watkins medal. Another time when we feel this feeling, when Lin is called to the headmaster's office. Lin begins to think of so many things in her mind. Those are all the elements of the short story that I have to share with you today. Well, what do you think? I hope you're ready to answer some questions based on the story, Cheat. Take out your pen and paper, students. Let's try to answer these questions. Complete the following sentences about the story. Lin is restless and tense before Mr. Bellows announces the results of the short story competition because... What do you think is the answer? Yes, because she is too nervous and wants to get over with the result. She hopes that it will at least be a tie. Okay, the next question is... Lin does not approach much for help because... Well, the answer is, she is afraid that Marge may end up hating her. Lin is a good friend because she always thinks about the consequences that could affect Zhao. So she decides to keep quiet about it. Here is the next question. Answer this question. Why does Zhao want Mr. Bellows to disqualify him? Hmm. What do you think? Write down the answer. Can we look at the answer now? Check your answers too. Joff thinks that he does not deserve to win since he has taken some ideas from the Bradbury's book. This is our final question. Complete this sentence. At the end of the story, Lin is unhappy because... Well, we know why Lin is unhappy, right? Come on, I know you can do this. Alright, let's look at the answer. Don't forget to check your answer. The answer is, she does not want to win by default since she thinks that it is not fair for her. Thank you for joining my lesson today. We have finally come to the end of today's session. Let's recap what we have covered today. Just a quick one. We learned the plot of the short story Cheat by Ellen Bailey. 
She also learned the elements in a short story and answered questions related to the short story. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the story as much as I do. I will see you again. Take care everyone and stay safe. Bye-bye!